Rick on these demons in my phone. These fake friends like J.I. Making it up as they go. Put on a check, I'm in the tax bracket. Whoa, new clothes, new drip, FaceTime. You know I'm on these clothes. Just supposed to be paradise. You know my wrist stay froze. Surrounded by the conflict. They stay begging for the smoke. They say they can't stand the fire. I put them in the kitchen on the stove. Now let me cook for a minute. Serving all these plates till they gone. See, my heart is made of stone. It's on my sleeve, I put it on. Yes. Wow, jungle animal, yeah. This ain't turn me to a lion. When you pray for a meal, you know somebody's dying. They say I'm hurting all these feelings. That's right. The way I touch these rats. Good morning, back, ladies back, and gentlemen. Back, 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 Good morning, back, back, toy. Back, back, back. The pride epidemic has reached a level so dangerous. Hi, it's in my city. You can see it in HD. I got God spinning in me, red for these demons in my phone. These fake friends like J.I. Making it up as they go. Ink is cheap, but on a check. I'm in the tax bracket. Whoa. When it's time to relocate, I'm Good talking morning. brand new Take real estate. Ain't no limits to the sky. Ain't no wings, but I'm the fly. I took the energy of my enemies. Now I'm a god in the cloud. Posted in the hood, flexing my wits before I bought my first house. In Asia, I'm an idol. I just flew another jet. Going crazy, popping wheelies in Dubai. Good morning. Happy Monday. I got extras for my extras, but I still ain't got enough. I made a deal that cost a condo. True tales from the hood. Nightmares becoming dreams. Fantasies becoming fiction. Overcoming like addiction. I got me a mission. I drip a little different. You praying for a miracle while I'm paying for forgiveness. I got God spinning in me, red for these demons in my phone. These fake friends like J.I. making it up as they go. Ink is cheap, but on a check, I'm a new tax bracket. Whoa. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, it is showtime. You know what we do over here on this side of town. Good morning, how are you? We're back again in the Thunderdome. It's like a curse. Yes, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's deja vu when I'm running up these racks. I'm like the Terminator screaming, I'll be back. It's deja vu when I'm out here flying first class. It's like every week I gotta take out the trash. I'm on top of my game, ahead of the class. You can tell that I made it. Look at my grass. Cars in the garage with tanks full of gas. I play the game so raw, I won't finish last. Sitting in my living room, screaming how we made it. This is how it's supposed to happen when you're rich and famous. The algorithm turned us to a maniac. I guess we going viral because my zodiac. I got all these numbers on my stash sheet. Yeah. Shit was radical. Right. It was it was horrible. Right. I'm like, you gone Zeus has gone way off the rails. It's like deja vu. It's like deja vu. Let's get it going. It's like deja vu. Yeah. It's deja vu when I'm running up. Alright, good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Happy, happy Monday. It seems like we're getting off to a rocky start this morning. I tell you, there must be something going on out here on the cyber highways. All right, good morning uh, to all of you. Uh, we are once again back in the thick of it, all right? And so we're back to engage in what we all came to engage with. All right, good morning, Dallas, all right? Uh, for those of you who do not know who I am, I go by the name Zeus, or as some like to say, Triple H. Thank you, Libra, the beautiful Libra. Uh, all right, and the first H stands for honest. I'm the most honest person on social media, all right? I promise to tell you nothing but the truth. So help me God, all right? That's the first H. The second H is because I am humble. Listen, if I get it wrong, 
I will be the first to apologize. It just turns out I'm not wrong that often, all right? And just because your feelings are hurt, it does not mean I am wrong. I stand on that, all right? You know, like these young folks say, we, we over here standing on business, all right? And then the last H, ladies and gentlemen, is because I am and will always remain uh, the most handsome. You know what, yeah, this is, when they say, uh, when they say standing on business, this was a good one, right? You know, you all know what I mean when I say I'm standing on business, right? <laughs> all right, for those of you who aren't familiar with what we do on this side of TikTok, uh, let, me, let me make sure I update you. What we do is we hold our friends on the right accountable for their for their dirty disgusting filthy deeds as well as their crimes and believe you me <laughs> there's a lot of dirty disgusting filthy deeds to go around when we're talking about the gop party all right and, and along those lines thank you for the gifts all right gg i love that all right gang gang right uh for those of you thank you for the gifts uh and, and so if you are a person on the right and as my good friend, Brother Swervin says, you're factose intolerant. That means you're allergic to facts. You know, folks are allergic to a lot of different things out here, but factose intolerant, uh, that's something that you're going to really have to get through because what we do is we tell an overwhelming amount of truth and it might make you feel very uncomfortable, all right? It might ruin your breakfast and it might ruin your day, your 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 morning, your 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 lunch, your dinner. And that's perfectly okay cuz that you know what is the beginning of the healing process that needs to take place cuz as far as I'm concerned, there's a there's a nasty, dangerous, demonic maga force that's taken over the minds of millions and millions of Americans out here, all right? Forgot lockdowns and Democrats overreach. I don't know what that means, all right? And so listen, if you are a person that's allergic to facts, like I said, uh, you might want to exit this live and leave because it's about to get uncomfortable. It really is, all right? But you don't got to take my word for it. Listen to your leader. If you're not happy here, then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, if you hate our country, if you're not happy here, Good you morning. can leave. Good if morning. you're not happy in the U.S., if you're complaining all the time, very simply, you can leave. You can leave right now. Right. Come back if you want. Don't come back. It's okay, too. But if you're not happy, you can leave. All right. So if you're one of those folks sitting at home crying and complaining about how President Biden is running this country, just leave. Pack your bags. Go to Russia. Be your Lord and Savior. Vladimir Putin. You can you can go to North Korea and 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 write love letters to Kim Jong Un. You can go do that, or you can go have some chocolate cake with President Xi. But but all but by all means, don't sit in this country and complain about all your little privileges that you got and, and how terrible of a job President Biden is doing. Because all you're doing is telling on yourself. You're telling the world that you don't know what you're talking about. You're telling the world that you're factos intolerant. You're telling your the world you're a liar and that you're a seditionist, treasonous traitor. Which, which I would argue, ninety percent of the Trump supporters are ninety. I want to say ninety-five. Can we say ninety-five percent of the Trump supporters? Most of them are seditionist, treasonous traitors. Okay, they've been compromised by Vladimir Putin through the Russian misinformation propaganda machine all right and then they're getting all their so-called news from sources they will not confirm but we all know where it's coming from it's coming from russia all right and so with that being said ladies and gentlemen let's get started with today's topics we're going to go through these headlines and these are headlines i post so that you can go look it up yourself all right you don't got to just say oh well zeus said it he's spreading lies no you can go look this information up yourself i shouldn't have to do it but you know what i'm committed to doing it because some of you folks i know can't read <laughs> Yeah. All right. All right. So this is a letter. This is a letter. Normally I have a speech, but this is one I ran across and I said, you know what? I'm going to skip the speech that I normally do. And we're going to share this one. And this is called Dear GOP. America is not going to forget and many Americans will never forgive. And this is this is uh, indicative of what I've been saying and a lot of my friends on the and, you know, the Democrat and some folks out there who just love the truth. This is why we're saying Donald Trump will never be president again. After the uh, um, this is how it starts out. After the corruption of Coolidge and Hoover administrations crashed, the world economy kicking off the Republican Great Depression in 1929. It took your party decades to rid itself of the stink after Nixon extended the Vietnam, Vietnam War to get himself reelected, un unnecessarily killing over 20,000 American soldiers 
and a million Vietnamese civilians and then got busted for Watergate and the bribes he solicited in the White House. It took you almost a generation to rid yourselves of the stink. But you'll never rid yourselves of the stink of Donald Trump, at least not in this lifetime or anybody around today can help. Trump's stench is a tragic part of American history, history that will last for generations to come. The entire world knows the smell of his whipping up of a crowd of thousands to try to assassinate the vice president of the United States and the speaker of the house. Trump's minions urinated on the carpets in the hallowed halls of Congress, smeared feces on the walls, damaged priceless paintings from the founding era of our country, and unalived police officers protecting our nation's capital. That stink will last forever and it will never fade, no matter how often his allies try to rewrite history, blur faces, or tell stories about bizarre deep state conspiracies. Do you think Americans will forget the stink of 30,000 documented lies he told America and the world while he was president? Or the, li or the lies he routinely spouts every time he speaks in public, so frequent that now even Fox News has to correct the facts when they cover him? How about the reek of his dictator-like pronouncement that he will destroy the American civil service and fill our government with corrupt loyalists, then imprison his political enemies and send the military into the streets like Maduro has done in Venezuela and tin pot dictators do all across the world. Do you really believe that we will forget the stink, the stink, the stench of him sucking up to murderous dictators like Vladimir Putin, MBS, and Kim Jong-un. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that this is all on the Republican Party's hands, and it's clear as day that this is what the party stands for, one after another, as they follow Donald Trump's orders, which we all know, no doubt received, we all know that he receives these orders from Vladimir Putin, all right? As far as I'm concerned, you are all cowards. That's right, MAGA and the Republican Party. You're all cowards. Covered in your wretched, cowardly, unpatriotic stench. This is the man who tried to blackmail a Democratic ally into manufacturing dirt on his political opponent, withholding aid to Ukraine in the face of Russian attacks. The stink of that crime was so heinous, he was impeached for it. What about the stink that Donald Trump created when he referred to mostly black nations as, I can't even say it, the S word whole countries. I gotta keep it clean. And our veterans, who died in war as suckers and losers. When he told General Mark Milley he didn't want to again share the stage with an injured veteran because such heroes, quote, don't look good. Or at the height of the pandemic in April of 2020, Trump ordered people back to work and began to ridicule wearing masks leading to hundreds of thousands of unnecessary deaths, okay? At that time, most COVID deaths were in, quote, blue states, right? And Trump agreed with Jared uh -huh, that they could politically benefit by blaming the deaths on Democratic governors, all right? An effective, quote, political strategy. They called this decision redolent with the stink of mass deaths. This same son-in-law, by the way, who Trump helped hustle $2 billion. That's right, you heard me. Forget Hunter Biden. Let's talk about Jared Kushner and his $2 billion, all right? From the Saudis in exchange for apparently 
downplaying the unaliving of a Washington Post journalist and looking the other way at how they oppress women. Do you think we fail to notice the reek of nepotism and corruption? Speaking of women, do you really believe that the stink of your support of a man credibly accused of S.A. and grape by over 20 women, including one as young as 13, would just go away? Mm. Even after he was found liable by a court to have graped the first woman whose case finally made it through the courts? As average working Americans struggle to pay their taxes, Trump pushed through an odious $2 trillion tax cut for himself and his billionaire buddies, creating the largest budget deficit by any president in history of the nation. Do you think America will forget this? Or the stink of his multiple business frauds? He was convicted and forced to pay millions in restitutions to victims of his Trump University fraud. They shut down his phony New York charity. Now he's been found by a New York court to have committed bank, tax, and insurance fraud. They're just trying to figure out how big the stink is so that they can quantify it as a fine. How about the overwhelming stench of tearing babies from their mother's arms at the border and then trafficking them into phony Christian adoption services that then vanished, leaving over a thousand grieving families still not knowing the whereabouts of their little girls and boys to this day. Or the stink from the naked campaign lies that he blithely told to get votes promising a new national health care system, a revitalization of America's infrastructure, or the claims that he supported organized labor at the same time his appointees to the Dem Department of Labor were working to block unionization efforts all across the nation. Even worse, even worse, ladies and gentlemen, it gets worse. And by the way, if you just tuned in, I'm talking about Donald Trump. I'm so sorry I didn't make that clear. This is about Donald Trump. All right. All right. This is like a in, 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 in hip hop, we call this a diss track. All right. This is a diss track on Donald Trump. Even worse, this adulterer who had affairs outside of his marriage with every one of his three wives and never goes to church but still claimed to be a Christian. Mm told sincerely religious people he was their champion. Not noticing the sulfurous, the sulfurous smell that surrounds Trump, many believed him and still do. In actual fact, he was only championing the hypocritical multimillionaire TV preachers who shared their hustle with him. He supported their violation of tax laws in exchange for their endorsements from the pulpit. Then he tried to overthrow an election he knew he lost by 7 million votes and is today threatening to try it again. The whole world is aghast at the stink of the tin pot dictator effort and terrified that he may succeed next time. All right. Germans struggle with the stink of a leader who referred to his political opponents as vermin and promised he was going to, quote, root them out. Who attacked the press because they told the truth about him. Who played on an amplified people's fear of, quote, the other. You will, too, for generations after Donald Trump himself has shuffled off to his moral coil, or as I like to say, as Donald Trump goes to hell. Pathetically, pathetically, you Republican members of Congress have now smeared yourselves with the slime that has surrounded Donald Trump his entire criminal life. Have you noticed how many of your colleagues are fleeing? Do you really think you can ever wash off yourself from the reek of your association with treason? In attempt to betray and overthrow America even worse than what Benedict Arnold tried. And Benedict Arnold was clearly a traitor. 
Seriously, Republicans, do you think America can smell what's going on? Trump bragging that he ended women's rights to bodily autonomy. His promotion of guns and assault weapons because the racist nutcases who follow him think they're going to be soldiers in a coming civil war. His refusal to do anything about climate change and is now killing Americans every single day. America has a few truly awful presidents. Andrew Jackson, the Native American unaliver. Andrew Johnson, who tried to undo Lincoln's legacy. Warren Harding and Teapot Dome, Richard Nixon's criminality, Ronald Reagan's commitment to destroy America's middle class, George Bush lying to us into two wars as part of his 2004 re-election strategy. But none, despite those, none stink as bad as this miserable cartoon of a man with his bizarre orange spray tan, absurd comb over, Diaper wearing, conspiracy promoting, red tie liar. They've left out a lot more. I call him a sinner on his way to hell. America's not going to forget, and many Americans will never forgive. You will never wash the stink of Donald Trump off yourselves as long as you continue to be the party you are today. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in giving Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans the first round of booze and shames this Monday morning. They deserve it. That, ladies and gentlemen, sums up uh, what, what, where all of this energy that i get comes from they touched on everything all right please make sure you go check the article out and read it for yourself i i really love it when when these um you know writers or you know media and these journalists they actually capture the 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 truth like this and and as i always say no lies detected i see there's some dissension in the comments still I still see there's some dissension. Well, you know what it means. You know, if you don't like what I'm saying, you don't like what I'm doing, you know the rules. Leave. If you're not happy here, then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, if you hate our country, many of you if do. you're not happy here, you can leave. If yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. Many, many, many of you do not like the United States of America because you're traitors, you're seditionists, treasonists. All right, I get it. But you know what you can do? You can leave this live, all right, or you can do what I advise you to do because, you know, your soul is on the line. You can sit your special behind down and listen to this special broadcast, okay? Because the ultimate MAGA reward, I've been saying it, is jail, and if you don't get your soul right, it's hell. I, haven't, I have never met an honest Trump supporter. I've never met it one because they don't exist. You're all a bunch of liars, all right? All right, you're, you're a bunch of seditionists, treasonous traitors, and I don't get it. Why won't you own what you did on January 6th? What are you afraid of? Own it. That was what you did. That's your handiwork, all right? And speaking of uh, liars, let's talk about uh, today's update, right? Rudy Giuliani, ladies and gentlemen, spread lies about the Georgia election worker, and a jury, a jury uh, will decide what he owes them, all right? Because uh, guess what, ladies and gentlemen, a damage trial begins today in a case in which a judge has already ruled that Rudy Giuliani is liable for defamation. All right. So he we all seen it. He's going to court today. And to get this, the U.S. District Court Judge Beryl Howe has already found him liable for defaming two Georgia election workers, Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss, who faced threats and harassment after Giuliani and Donald Trump falsely accused them of manipulating ballots after the 2020 election. And those lies, ladies and gentlemen, fueled conspiracy theories that have festered to this day. All right. So you know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. You know what it is. Get those tomatoes ready and get those booze and shame ready, please, ladies and gentlemen. Because we must once again give Donald Trump. All right, we must give Donald Trump and his supporters their daily doses of booze and shame and tomato. Let's give it to him. Let's give Rudy Giuliani uh, some booze and shame because just like Donald Trump, 
He's in court, right? Already been found liable and is in the penalty phase. Let's give him some booze and shame. <laughs> This is what happens when you lie for a living. You end up in a situation like Donald Trump. And it starts and, and, and leadership it starts at the top and it trickles down. Donald Trump, leader of fraud. All of his employees, they work for a leader of fraud. What's going to happen to them? The same things that are going to happen to Donald Trump. This is why I keep telling you, Trump supporters, there's universal laws at play right now. This is why a lot of you are struggling and suffering and crying and complaining. You know, I had this Trump supporter get in my box this weekend. She's complaining. I had to think about it after we got done talking. Okay, so you're doing great in the economy. Yes, I'm doing great, Zeus. You know, because I said, why are you crying? You're struggling. I'm not struggling. Okay, so why are you upset? Why are you upset? You're crying. Same like the uh, the gentleman clickbait. Clickbait's making millions and millions of dollars according to what he says. Well, what's clickbait? You're making millions and millions of dollars. Yes, Zeus, I'm not broke. And he even showed us his house, right, Angie? Showed us his house, his cars, his truck. Well, clickbait, why are you upset? Well, I speak. I speak for the poor people, Zeus. <laughs> <laughs> These folks are lying. They're thriving under Biden. <laughs> They're thriving under Biden and at the same time telling us, they speak for the for the poor people. No, you don't. You're nothing but a liar. All right. And no one's buying what you're selling. All right. And uh, speaking of liars and selling, let's keep this. Let's keep this show going on, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I got to keep moving through my talking points. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Mm. Trump was supposed to testify in court today. All right. President Trump doesn't cower. He just he just chickened out. And again, this is typical MAGA behavior. Like I said, MAGA are a bunch of cowards because they won't take ownership for January 6th. I was in my good friend Angie's live yesterday. And, you know, you get these Trump supporters. She's, she had the background. Trump is a traitor. Folks, these Trump supporters, they get, in, <clears throat> they get in the box. And they have the ability to explain how the FBI was involved with January 6th. I mean, they can go hours by talking about how the FBI was involved. They can tell you about BLM. They, 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 they swear up and down they saw BLM flags on January 6th. You, sh you should hear what these Trump supporters, they're, they're, they're cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Oh, right? <laughs> <laughs> they can even tell you about Antifa. Even though, okay, there's a video out, uh, Day of Rage, you should go watch it. During the January 6th protest, the Trump supporters were chanting, Where's Antifa? Which is obviously a clue Antifa wasn't there. You can go look at it yourself. These are folks wearing red hats, wa waving stop the steal, Trump 2020 flags, conf carrying Confederate flags. And not one time was this Trump supporter able to explain why Trump supporters were at the Capitol on January 6th. It's almost as if they think we don't see the Trump supporters there. It was the most bizarre thing. All right. And so with that being said, I know that's why I said I've never met an honest Trump supporter. And they can tell me they're a Christian all they want. But most of you Trump supporters, you, you don't worship the Jesus in the Bible. You don't worship the God in the Bible. You worship the devil, a.k.a. Uh, Donald Trump. I'm pretty sure if you do own a Bible, you've probably struck out the words of Jesus and replaced it with uh, orange Jesus, like uh, my good friend Union Gang likes to say, right? <laughs> All right. Now, Donald Trump was supposed to be scheduled to take the stand today in his $250 million fraud trial. But yesterday afternoon, he announced that he would not do so. In other words, he lied, declaring that he had already testified to everything. You know, this is what he said when he got indicted by Fonnie Willis. He was going to show us the evidence, right? And then guess what he did? He sat his special behind down and he listened to this special broadcast. With nothing to do today as a result, the court administrator said that the trial, which is nearing its end after two months, would not resume until Tuesday. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, please get those tomatoes together. All right. Get those tomatoes and get those booze and shame. All right. And right. And, and if you're a subscriber... Won't you get some of those get those emotes ready for Donald Trump? Get, use the guilty one, all right, or the lock 'em up one, right? And join me in giving Donald Trump 
another round of booze and shame because once again we've caught him in a lie once again we've caught him in a lie saying he's going to do something and he's not going to do it all right let's give him another round lock him up i like seeing the lock him up one There's still some dissension in the comment section. If you're not happy here, then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, if you hate our country, if you're not happy here, you can leave. If you're not happy in the U.S., if you're complaining all the time, very simply, you can leave. You can leave right now. Come back if you want. Don't come back. It's okay, too. But if you're not happy, you can leave. That's for that's for you folks out there that that don't like the truth that I'm delivering, right? You're like, it's too early, Zeus. Please, Zeus. You, <laughs> it's too early, Zeus. I, I I didn't like I don't like hearing when you talk like this. For those of you who feel that way right now, yeah, go ahead and leave. But for those of you who understand what this is about, thank you for what you do. And to the Trump supporters, the demonic demonically possessed ones. Continue to sit your special behinds down and listen to this special broadcast. You can call me whatever name you want. It ain't gonna stop this. It ain't gonna stop this truth from coming. <laughs> Woo! I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. All right. I, I ought to get Jack Smith. I, I ought to call Jack Smith up right now, you Trump supporters, and tell him each and every one of you right here, Jack Smith. I got him right here in the comment section of my live. Yeah. They were there on January 6th. Come and pick them up. All right. I should tell you. I should do it because I know. I know you know what's going on out here. You could talk tough on the Internet, but we know what happened when the FBI knocks, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Trump's intelligent officials unanimously uh, rejected his voting machine claims. So this is for all you uh, conspiracy theory lovers. All right. Add this. Add this to your toolbox. All right. In a new document filed Saturday night, you know, Jack Smith, he works 24-7, seven days a week. Uh, special, uh, special counsel Jack Smith's team argued intelligence officials unanimously rejected the idea that foreign governments penetrated any systems that counted votes or could have altered the election itself, which undermines ex-president Donald Trump's claim. All right. According to the report, the filing was part of the special counsel's opposition to a bid by Trump to access a broad swath of classified intelligence as part of his defense against charges that he conspired to subvert the 2020 election and disenfranchise millions of voters, culminating in the violent January 6th attack on the Capitol. Trump has argued that foreign governments fueled his supporters' concern about election integrity and that some classified evidence revealed potential meddling that justified his own professed fears about fraud. So now Trump is saying Russia was involved in the election, which is kind of interesting, right? Because he always says there was no Russia, right? But clearly he's leaning on Russia more than ever. Senior Assistant Special Counsel Thomas Wyndham writes in the filing, quote, Trump tried to create a false impression and manufacture confusion by citing these irrelevant network breaches and conflating them with potential changes to the vote total. Alleging this, quote, new legal effort by Trump is just an extension of his election lies. Prosecutors say Intel officials documented some breaches. All right. So we'll give it to you. There were some breaches. All right. Of state voter registration database that permitted various influence campaigns, but were not capable of causing the vote stealing scheme of which Trump has long sought to convince his followers. Smith's team interviewed more than a dozen of the top intelligent officials in the Trump administration. From his director of national intelligence to the administrator of the NSA to Trump's personal intelligence briefer about any evidence that foreign governments had penetrated systems that counted votes in 2020. And he writes in the filing, the answer from every single official was no. They all told Trump what he was saying was a lie. No, Trump. 
there's no evidence of the voting systems being hacked. That would have changed the outcome of the election. No, sir. One, he, one leaves, the next one comes in. Was there any evidence? No, sir. The other one, that guy leaves, the next one comes in. Was there any evidence of fraud? No, sir. He brings the next one in. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. There was no evidence of fraud. Donald Trump, and I'm telling you today there was no evidence of fraud. So you can't keep lying to yourself and saying no one told you. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, join me once again in giving Donald Trump another round of booze and shame. Because once again, we've caught him in another lie. And this time, it was by his own intelligent officials. Let's give him some booze and shame. <laughs> done and then i'm gonna open up the boxes you know what we do ladies and gentlemen we open up these <clears throat> we open up these boxes because I, I actually do enjoy hearing from the american people especially now that it is uh we're in election season all right but i want to make sure we get through our talking points at least so that everyone knows uh the truth right all right so let's move on ladies and gentlemen this is something that i felt was very very interesting yeah 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 <clears throat> uh here we go the same the same Republicans downplaying Trump's dictatorship lines, they begged they begged Mike Pence to stop him. Mm. It's that stench we're talking about, ladies and gentlemen. It's, just, it's that stench. All right, now this is uh this is an exchange, all right, between uh uh who is this? Uh what is this? Uh who is this exchange between, ladies and gentlemen? Let me make sure I get it. Uh, get it right. Oh, okay, I got it. Uh, so this is Olivia Troy, which is an aide to Mike Pence, a former aide, Geraldo Rivera, and Jim Acosta. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is on CNN, which is the favorite network of MAGA. CNN, MAGA loves CNN, so this gots to be real. This gots to be real. Let's listen to what they say, ladies and gentlemen. Whether you take it seriously or not, I mean, if you listen well, to the crowd in, in, in New York... And at that town hall the other night with Sean Hannity, people were eating it up. And, but that is just for impact. It's, it's just for the visceral reaction of a live audience. I know him well enough to know uh, that this is not serious policy stuff. I mean, last time around, his first time around, when he won the surprise uh, victory over Hillary Clinton, uh, he was besieged by day one with, uh, with impeachment, with uh, Russia, Russia, Russia. He was totally distracted. He was on his back foot from the get-go. Uh, he was barely clinging to office. It wasn't for uh, William Barr being brought in as emergency attorney general. He, he might have totally lost it. Uh, so I, I think that uh, maybe it's because we need uh, uh, you know something to distract us. Uh, but that's what this is. This is just distraction. Keep focused on... Uh, uh, on his uh, on his poll numbers, uh, I think it's important that he is going to be the nominee. Uh, but I also think that he is much more preoccupied with the 91 uh, indictments, the four serious uh, criminal uh, uh, cases that he faces. These are the things yeah. that he has to sort through. And I really do believe he wants to be president so he can pardon himself, at least from the federal charges, Jeff. Olivia, you were in the Trump administration. Do you remember it the same way Geraldo does? Absolutely not. I mean, look, I, I know the Republicans on the Hill who were upset when Trump would say that he was going to do something and then he'd go do it and then there'd be phone calls to Mike Pence's office saying, hey, uh, you know, the farm hands that are being uh, sort of picked up right now off our fields right now, we need them. We need those immigrants here. They are hardworking people. Or how about those times when people would call up when he'd get us into a conflict, when he'd be promising libertad to Venezuela, right? Remember that phrase? where we were going to liberate, liberate to Venezuela. And then one day he woke up and decided that he didn't like the oppositional candidate to Maduro. He didn't like Guaido. And so he just woke up on the wrong side of the bed and went off on that. And the next thing you know, we were withdrawing our plans and trying to scramble to figure that out. And there were Republicans on the Hill who are now saying, oh, don't take his rhetoric seriously, who were equally scrambling and panicking at what was happening here to the Republican agenda. So I take these threats seriously because I've seen them. I've seen what he does firsthand. And I've seen... You know, 
Jim, I saw when you got kicked out of the press room and attacked and your press pass was revoked as media. What happened to freedom of the press? I, I know what is coming. So, you know, we can sit here and say that it's alarmist, but there are those of us who lived it and who saw this firsthand who are incredibly concerned. And those checks and balances held who weren't willing to compromise themselves, who really took their oath seriously and who took their service seriously, those people won't be there anymore. It will be a circle of enablers. They're planning to install these enablers. There'll be a bunch of loyalists. And then the people in the federal government will also be in fear because they also know that there's retribution. They know what a Trump administration is like. So look, I, I unequivocally think that we should be concerned. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, uh, Olivia Troy, for telling the truth of what it was really like working in, an, in the Trump administration. Olivia, see, what you have that these demonically possessed Trump supporters don't have is you've had the opportunity to lay eyes on Donald Trump, shake his hand, and, and report to the American people the truth about just how dangerous he is as a president or even as an individual all right so ladies and gentlemen let's give olivia a round of applause all right for telling the truth she used to work for mike pence but let's give geraldo and donald trump supporters all across the world especially in this live what they deserve get the tomatoes out and let's get the booze and the shames out the way for these traitors <laughs> And I'm around. I'm rounding the corner, but uh, I know a lot of folks are sick to their stomach right now listening to this truth coming out. I know some people in the comments said, "Zeus, you really think CNN is a good source?" You're darn right, I did. I got a video up on my page right now, and you and you Trump supporters are also acknowledging you listen to CNN. But the difference is when they I bring the truth, you turn around and accuse CNN. Of spreading lies like this that late that that lady did in the video when she lied about california allowing voter fraud where'd you get it from cnn and right there in real time the host beautiful host fact checked her and said the article you're talking about came from fox cricket you trump supporters are a bunch of liars fake christians hypocrites your father is the devil in the Bible. Yeah, the one legion, you know, travel impact, bunch of demons travel impact. Whenever I see a Trump rally, you know what? I see a bunch of demons on their way to hell. All right, let's move on to our, uh, well, we got one more final topic I want to touch on. And then we're going to get to the, 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 the meat and potatoes of the show. All right. Yeah, one more topic. All right. Uh, and I want to make sure you Trump supporters are fully aware of this. Facing charges, several pro-Trump fake electors say they won't do it again. Hindsight provides a wealth of knowledge. This, this is somebody, these are some people who used to support Trump and then they've had that MAGA demon cast out of them, all right? Several fake electors say they regret their actions in the aftermath of the 2020 election. Hindsight provides a wealth of knowledge that we don't have the time, one fake elector said. And in recent months, 25 of the 84 fake electors have been charged with felonies. And I bring this up, ladies and gentlemen, because I want to make sure you Trump supporters understand why I say jail and then hell is the ultimate MAGA reward, all right? So these are some fake electors who, who chose, you know, the Bible talks about free will. These folks use their free will to engage in a life of crime for Donald Trump. And now they're, they're, they're paying the price. All right. Justice is being served. All right. Who wants justice? Who wants justice? And you know, these criminals, I want justice. And they're getting their daily dose of it. And after they get some justice in their diet, guess what they start to do? Oh, I, I was deceived. You know, in the, in the book of Genesis, right? This is a funny, you know, when Adam ate that fruit and his eyes opened. Oh, yeah. This is how the Trump supporters are now. I was deceived. 
Who deceived? Oh, Donald Trump deceived me, Lord. Help me, Lord. I see clearly now. I don't want to spend the rest of my life in prison. Oh, you don't? You don't? No. Well, what do I got to do to get out of it, Lord? Just give me one more chance. Okay, I'm going to need you to uh, denounce Donald Trump and apologize. Yes, Lord, I'll do anything you say because I now have a new understanding that you are the true and living God. You know what, ladies and gentlemen, join me in giving these Trump supporters another round of booze and shame because they should have knew better. We've been telling them the truth. And now they're in a situation like this where they've lost all credibility and they're going to have to work the rest of their lives to get it back and on their knees, okay, because of Donald Trump. Let's give them some booze and shame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Trump was placed by God, right? And, 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 and if you want to go down that path with Zeus, I'm fine with it. And God has Trump right now on full display so that you all can see who's really in control. And it ain't Donald Trump. It ain't Donald Trump. Just like you said God put Trump there. You know who else he put there? He put President Biden. <laughs> you know, because what we all know and what we all agree with is this. MAGA Republicans do not respect the Constitution. They do not believe in the rule of law. They do not recognize the will of the people. They refuse to accept the results of a free election. Right. Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans represent an extremism that threatens the very foundations of our republic. MAGA forces are determined to take this country backwards. And they see their MAGA failure to stop a peaceful transfer of power after the 2020 election as preparation for the 2022 and 2024 elections. Yeah. Yep. Millions of America know that. Millions of Americans know what President Biden said is true. And, and if you think President Biden was being hateful and divisive with that, when he said that, good. I want you to think that. Because I got, I got some hateful and divisiveness to talk about as well, since we want to go down that path together. Buckle up. This is one of my favorite parts of the show to do, because... It's it's a it's a stark reminder to America of just how dangerous Donald Trump and his supporters are to our democracy. And it is, yes, ladies and gentlemen, covering the events on what happened on January 6th. And listen, I've been doing this for quite a uh, quite a while. I have yet to cover someone that's Antifa, BLM or the FBI. Every single person I've had to cover on this part of the show is a certified Donald Trump supporter, meaning they went to Trump University. They've given Donald Trump their 401ks and and, and now they're they they've been caught getting uh do, doing breaking the law, so to speak. So let's talk about this traitor right here. A marathon couple arrested in August in relation to their participation in the January 6th riot at the Capitol recently pled not guilty on federal charges. Brian Roger Bishop, 51 years dumb, pleaded not guilty on November 29th to nine counts in his federal indictment, which was posted to the online federal court filing system on November 15th. He is accused, amongst other things, of assaulting two Capitol police officers with a dangerous weapon by spraying pepper spray under their helmets during the riot carrying a dangerous weapon inside a restricted area and engaging in physical violence in a restricted area with the weapon and disorderly conduct. The maximum sentence under federal law for assaulting a federal officer with a deadly or dangerous weapon is a 20-year prison term, depending on the severity of the circumstances. Bishop's wife, Tanya, who is also 47 years well. He was 51. She's 47. 47 years dumb. Is not accused of violence or weapons related charges, but is accused of remaining in a restricted area and disorderly and disruptive conduct in a restricted area in the Capitol building. She pled not guilty to the four counts at her December 1st arraignment that was held via Zoom. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, join me in giving these traitors what they deserve. 
a round of booze and shame. This this is a couple that made the dumbest decision a couple could ever make. You know, they say two brains are better than one. That's what I was taught. Two brains are better than one. How many people, how many people does it take to screw in a light bulb, right? And these two brains came together to engage in a crime to support Donald Trump based on a lie. And now they've thrown away their freedom. Join me in giving them some booze and shame. <laughs> conviction so we can't we gotta we gotta go easy on them but they'll when we get them in the conviction phase we'll we'll address them right ladies and gentlemen all right now uh before we move on I, one more topic and then we'll open up those boxes all right here we go here we go now you're getting to where the meat and potatoes this is my this is now we get to send them off the old-fashioned way get ready this is another trader ladies and gentlemen who has been sentenced in his role for the January 6th Capitol riot. Look at those Trump supporters right there. Does anybody see BLM or Antifa or the FBI in this photo? Does anybody put it in the chat if you see BLM or Antifa or the FBI? Please. Please, MAGA, do it. Put it in the chat. You don't need to come in the box and argue. Put it in the chat if you see it. Because I sure as heck don't. Who, who should I believe, you or my lying eyes, right? Is that how you want this to be? Cut it out. On December 9th, ladies and gentlemen, a Utah man was sentenced in federal prison for his role in the January 6, 2021 riot at the Capitol. His actions and the actions of other supporters disrupted a joint session of the United States Congress convened to ascertain and count the electoral votes related to the 2020 Presidential election, all right? Justin D. Adams, 49 years dumb, of West Jordan, Utah, was sentenced to 17 months in prison. 17 months, wow! And 12 months of supervised release by the U.S. District Court judge. Adams pled guilty in August to one count of assaulting, resting, and impeding certain officers. In addition to assaulting officers, the DOJ said that Adams was instrumental in defeating barriers which allowed rioters to overwhelm police. According to court documents, Adams, a licensed gun dealer, traveled with two companions from Utah to Washington, D.C. to protest Congress certification of the Electoral College vote. Adams posted a photo online showing him and two other men standing in front of a vehicle along with the text that said he was, quote, starting the road trip and driving out to D.C. to smack a couple of politicians around, maybe. Following the rally at the Ellipse on January 6th, preceding the turmoil, Adams marched to the Capitol building where he joined a mob uh, on the Upper West Plaza, according to the release. Many of Adams' actions were captured on body-worn video camera. Ladies and gentlemen, he told on himself, like typical Trump supporters do. And not one time did he say he linked up with BLM, Antifa, or the FBI. He told on himself. So you know what it is, ladies and gentlemen. Join me in giving this guy, Adam, dangerous, dangerous Adam. We're going to call him Dangerous Adam. Around. <laughs> And you know what we got to do uh, when we get to the sentencing, ladies and gentlemen. Let's send Justin D. Adams, 49 years dumb. Let's send him off the old-fashioned way. <laughs>
like to begin by addressing the heinous attack on the United States Capitol. Like all Americans, I am outraged by the National Guard and federal law enforcement to secure the building and expel the intruders. America is and must always be a nation of law and order. The demonstrators who infiltrated the Capitol have defiled the seat of American democracy. To those who engage in the acts of violence and destruction, you do not represent our country. And to those who broke the law, you will pay. You do not represent our country. You engage of those in the edit. And yes, you will pay every single day. Just know justice is on the hunt for you traitors. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like I said earlier, if you're getting upset about how I run my show because the truth is... As far as I'm concerned, in the U.S., if you're complaining all the time, very simply, you can leave. You can leave right now. Come back if you want. Don't come back. It's okay, too. But if you're not happy, you can leave. Right. If, if you're sitting at home mumbling and grumbling about uh, this broad concern, the cat's out of the bag. All right? Gloves are off. All right? The gloves are off, right? And, and, and many of you, I'm, I opened up the boxes. Let me see. Oh, my God. It always glitches right around there. I don't know why it's glitching. Let me, um, let me try. All right, if that works, sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't, ladies and gentlemen. You know, when I usually get around to that phase of the show, uh, I think that's when the, the MAGA demon is at its <laughs> highest level of stress. That's when they go, oh, Zeus, ugh, you got me, Zeus. All right, let's try that again. All right, all right. Hopefully that works, ladies and gentlemen. I do apologize. All right, I did go a little over. Uh, I did go a little over. But you know what? There was a lot of content to get through this morning. And, uh, you know, we got to do what we got to do, right? All right. And, yeah, uh, many of you, you say I'm being mean to the Trump supporters out there. All right. Let me open up the box. Okay. Yeah. You think I'm being mean to the Trump supporters. But here's the deal. I, I, I used to be a lot nicer to Trump supporters, right? I used to. I used to be a lot kinder. But we can't be kind anymore. No, no. Because... The gloves are off, right? Everyone knows he's... And I wouldn't have said this three weeks ago. No. I wouldn't have said it. I was actually very kind to him. I was very kind to him. But now we can't be kind anymore because the gloves are off. The jar has been opened. The gloves are off and the jar has been opened, MAGA. And it's because of you. All right, let's bring up our first panelist, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get this show started today that's not too bad good morning nutty professor how are you doing my good friend uh-oh uh-oh i see the i see the buffering i see the buffering nutty are you there oh i'm here it's not how's everybody uh I, i'm all right i'm all right i can hear you pretty good <laughs> good good i hope everybody's weekend was was well mm, but let me let me let me begin by uh, talking about Kate Cox. Oh, okay. So, Go ahead, brother. So, listen. I do believe that as a man, that I, I shouldn't, I should tread lightly when it comes to talking about women issues. Right. But I will say this to Ms. Cox: although she voted for this madness that she's enduring now. I need everyone to understand why your vote matters. Mm. Because at any day, this could be at your doorstep. They say you need to open your camera and then turn it off. Or no, maybe you're buffering. You look good on my end, but if that if that is uh, something they're saying, yeah, let's go ahead and get that out of the way. Let's go, ladies, and there you go. All, All right, right, now what were you saying about, so she, she's a Republican is what you're saying. She, she is. But you know what, you know, I'm not even going to talk about her being a Republican mm. because what she's going through is absolutely abhorrent. She should not have to be going through what she's going through. The fact that the uh, Court of Appeals in Texas granted her the right to have an abortion 
And now Ken Paxton, the attorney general, threatening the doctors to be arrested. And now the Supreme Court in the state of Texas mm-hmm. has halted, has overturned the lower court's decision. Right. This woman's life is in danger. Also, mm. also her fertility is in danger. Wow. Why are any of you okay with that? Mm. And this is a Democrat speaking. Wow. For a Republican woman. Wow. You see, it doesn't matter your political party affiliation now. Mm. Because the madness is now at your doorstep. You reap what you sow, right? This is what you all are voting for. This is the type of madness that you are allowing. The fact that Ken Paxton was impeached, his corruption is still out there. The fact that he's still under investigation by the Department of Justice. This is who you all are allowing to be your chief law enforcement officer in the state of Texas. And then if she leaves Texas to seek health care, she's putting her her family in jeopardy Mm. because of the law that Texas passed that anybody can sue her Mm. and her family. Mm -mm -mm. So I'm done with that. I'm done with that. Let me move on because my time is limited. So Mitt Romney over the weekend had an uh, interview and they asked him a point blank question said, if you were in the House of Representatives, would you be voting for the impeachment inquiry into President Biden? He absolutely unequivocally, without questioning, he said, absolutely not. Right. They asked him why. They, Mitt Romney stated that the House has no evidence to support in, the impeachment inquiry into Joseph Biden. Mm-mm. He did go on to say, if they show evidence to the American people yeah. of a high crime or misdemeanor, then the inquiry is warranted. That's how it works, folks. Tell him, Nutty. That is how it works. There is no evidence suggesting that Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. has done anything wrong that would amount to a high crime or misdemeanor. You know the Constitution that you all purport to love? Mm. It states high crime or misdemeanor. Tell them. Now, let me take these gears yet again. Oh, how many gears you got? How many gears you got? Well, you you, you know you only give us really two minutes and ten seconds. So anyway, (laughs) so Peter Baker today in the New York Times said that, uh, well, he was talking about Trump when Trump said he wanted to be a dictator, right? So Trump is saying, Trump is saying, and I quote, I didn't say that. Mm. This is a quote from Trump, right? He said, I want to be dictator for a day. Mm. And like, what was he okay. and what did he say he's going to do on that that day? He said so the day that he said and I quote, I didn't say that. I said I want to be dictator for a day. You know why I wanted to be a dictator for a day? Because I want I want a wall. Oh. And I want to drill drill drill, Trump said. Mm. Folks, come on. We've seen we've seen this this rodeo show out of Trump before. We've seen this before. If you think that Donald Trump only wants to be a dictator for one day just for a wall and for drilling, Mm. you are sadly mistaken because he is so hungry with power. You know, Mm. like your Republican Party? He is so hungry with power, he would never relinquish that power. Tell tell, tell the truth. And the fact that anybody running for the high office of the presidency of the United States of America, for anybody to say they wanna be a dictator, I don't care if it's for one minute, Mm. you are unfit to lead the American people. You are unfit. No lies detected. And the fact that you you people will keep voting for this man, Mm -hmm. you are a detriment to this country. You don't love this country. You want to see this country go back to hell in which it came from. You want us to see there. You want us to see us fail. Mm. Mm. Again, throw your political party out of the way. Bingo. If you care about this country, you have to vote against Donald Trump. If you care about this country, you have to tell the Republican Party, get your senses back. 
Bingo. Because this country need, we need the Republican Party. Again, you, I'm a Democrat, y'all. And I'm standing here telling you, we need the Republican Party. We, no need, we need somebody to check the Democrats and we need the Democrats to check the Republicans because when they check each other, the American people win. Bingo. Have a great day, Zeus. All right, all right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give Nutty Professor a round of applause. Happy Monday. You know, you still see some of these folks out here in the comments saying, vote red. Haven't you seen what we've been talking about? The same red is the reason Kate Cox is in the situation she's in right now. She voted against her own best interests. That's why, that's why I say there are universal laws at work right here with you Trump supporters. And you're going to continue to be exposed for who you are because of all the lies and evil seeds that you've sown. You've planted these seeds and now you got to reap the fruits of it. It's a tough thing to understand, but just keep listening. You know, it'll, it'll start to make sense. You, you can't, you can't, uh, you can't uh, outsmart the, the universe. All right. And so this is why you need to sit your special behinds down and listen to this special broadcast. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God, let's move it, let's move it. Oh, good morning, Southern Liv. How are you doing this beautiful Monday? Oh, I'm doing wonderful. How are you, Zeus, and how uh, is the kingdom today? Oh, oh I'm all right. It's a, it's a nice, you know, chill Monday, just like I like. Yeah, it, well, it's uh, speaking of chill, it's cold as shit. Oh, oh well, me. I got cold that. Cold as crap here. <laughs> you got that, I got that. But, you know, so I, I wanted to add on to uh, wanted to add on to Ken Paxton. Uh, his mom should have swallowed. So oh. I got that out of the way. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, my God. And, uh, but my question <laughs> is I'm actually going to put it in a meme. Okay, let's for do these it. maggots and oh no, that's not it. Mm. Oh, let's see. Mm. Uh, it's not scaled exactly right. Oh, but... okay. Trump says he would only be a dictator one day. It says, "How stupid! Name a dictator that gave up power voluntarily." Mm. Good point. So, wait, so wait, wait, most likely he a, was a, lying. Oh, of course, of course. Mm. I mean, how how stupid does he? Well, he he knows that his followers are stupid, but we correct. Aren't. No, no, we're not. No, we we are so, educated and informed over here. Yes. How can people be okay with this? And they they are just uh, letting it, you know, turning that cheek. Mm. Like I said last week, they're just turning that cheek and pretending that it's all okay. That oh, it's just one day. Mm. What what do you think? What do you think one person could do to this country in one day? Bingo. Bingo. I, I mean, if I were Donald Trump, I'll tell you this. I'm pretty sure the only thing Donald Trump sleeps, if he does sleep and dreams about, is one day being able to, to walk back in that White House and, and do the job he wished he could have did the first term. He's going to get in there and bring hell. Absolutely. He is only there for revenge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, yeah. now what, what kind of leader do we want? In the White House, that is only there for revenge on uh, the left, the mm. Democratic Party, as right. he calls. The, even though, the even though it's Republicans who are the reason he's in, been indicted, right? It's Republicans. Yes, absolutely. There's not one single Democrat with witness in any of his cases. Nope. His no. own. His, yeah, it's like how can it be a witch hunt when your own flying monkeys are the one putting you there? <laughs> mm, right so but yes uh magas use a little bit of critical thinking and read that meme mm. if you think that man is just going to be for one even for one day how are you okay with that Bingo. that's what i want to how are you okay with this they have so, no answers they i don't i've no. never met an honest trump supporter have you never no, no. absolutely not no They'll never answer no, these they, questions. They, they deny, they deny, they deny because they yeah. know they've been duped and they're too embarrassed to to admit it mm. because they're egos. They're, they're like Trump's malignant, narcissistic ego. Mm. He cannot 
stand the fact that he lost. Yeah. He lost. Mm. Plain and simple. And he can't handle it because he is a weak little Cheeto Jesus man. No lies, detective. She's not lying. He's a, you're, you're spot on, uh, Southern Lips. Spot on. He's a weak. So, yes, do some critical thinking down there, uh, maggots. Mm. See, if, yeah. see if you could come up with a good explanation for this yeah. for me. Bingo. So, Fair enough. Thank you all. Have a beautiful Monday. All right, and Chris, right. you're as handsome as ever. Oh, thank you so, so much. Southern yes. Lib. The beautiful Southern Lib. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give well, Southern Lib a round of applause. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I bid you adieu. All Goodbye. right, I bid you adieu as well. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you see, this is it's very important. I see a lot of I see a lot of dissension in the comments section. For you Trump supporters, uh, there is a path forward. There's a path forward. Is there any Trump supporter out there that would like to get in the box and apologize today? It's, my box is always open. I'm willing. I'm willing to accept apologies. Any any MAGA demons out there that are that are ready to let Zeus lay hands on you this morning? Come on up. Any any Trump supporters want to come up in the box and, and let let Zeus lay hands on you and cast that MAGA demon out? Raise your hands. Come on. The Lord put something on my mind this bright and early, right? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I mean, I, I'm willing to hear you out if you're willing to apologize. But but if you just want to get in the box and, and, and try to say that we're lying about anything, you know the rules. You gotta put you gotta put it in the chat. Put the, whatever you think we're lying about. Put the evidence of what the truth is in the chat. You don't need that much. Just say what it is. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's move on, ladies and gentlemen, to our next uh, panelist. Oh my God, Seti Seth. Am I getting them, Frank? Am I getting them? I see your straight facts. Am I getting them? Oh, Seti Seth. I'm going said. to be. I'm going to be your fake Trump supporter. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Talk to me. So. What you got to understand is attack. this is a movement, my man. We're trying to do something in this country, and you liberals, you yeah. libtards, are getting in the way. Oh, and, so and, and, what, and what, what I are, want what you are, to do? What are you? What, go what, ahead. What, are, what are we trying? What are you trying to do in this country? We're trying to elect a man that's gonna make some changes <laughs> to this country. It's gonna make it a better place to live yeah. for me. Oh, that sounds like uh, Michael Jackson's We Are the World. Exactly, but in reverse, okay? <laughs> in reverse, my brother. Oh. I am trying to make it so that it will be lily white mm. all across this land, mm. and all you undesirables can get out of this country and go mm. back to where you come from, oh. except for except for Europe. You guys, we can stay. <laughs> oh. oh, Everybody else got to go. Okay, okay, okay. And if that's what you want to do, where does Donald Trump come in? Into this. how is he helping you accomplish that goal? He's a loser. Don't you want a winner to because help you do that? He's a loser. He just said it. You didn't. You didn't hear what my man said. We're gonna do some mass deportations. Yeah, but 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 how are you going to do that when no one listens to him? Who's he gonna get to do his dirty work? You see all his. Well, I'm trying. I got my boy. I got I got my boy uh, Tuberville holding oh. off on them generals. Okay. <laughs> so when oh. I put my generals in there. Mm. I'm gonna put my generals in there, oh. and we're gonna make things happen. Where are you, okay? getting, these, where are you I, getting these general generals from? I'm just curious. Are you getting them from? They're Russia under or? wraps. There, I can't tell you because uh. if I told you, then you would know. Okay. <laughs> but here's the deal. I don't know how we're gonna do it because California, mm. and Arizona, Nevada, Texas used to belong to the Mexico. Mm. So I don't know how we're gonna do that. Oh, you're well, we gonna figure out a way. Oh, so so you're an expert at world history, right? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, okay, okay. So, and, what, and, and and what college did you go to? I'm just curious. I went to East Bum Mucka Mucka Muck <laughs> Egypt. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Well, you know, you ought to ask for a refund. You know that, right? Cause well, I went to. Like, the, well, I went. My man went to the. It was the online right. edition. Did you go to the online class? Is that what it was? Yeah, yeah. Uh -oh. Actually, for nine ninety nine. Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh I got I gotta remove him. He's getting flagged. Oh my god. Sorry, said he said I had to remove you, but good job. Oh my god. He got a warning, he got a violation. <laughs> Woo-wee! Oh 
Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, I had to get him out of here. I can't have you losing your, your account, my brother. But listen, you were you were spot on, all right? The way that you were, uh, you know, channeling that demonic MAGA force, all right? And be careful with it because, listen, here's the thing, all right? Yeah, you're welcome. Here's the thing. You got to be careful with that demonic MAGA force because, especially if you're not... Oops, oops. Oops, if you're not trained, if you're not trained, I'm, see, I'm the MAGA whisperer, right? I, I, you ever seen that show, uh, Dog Whisperer, where Caesar, he goes in and he gets the most challenging animals, the, the most difficult dogs. See, I go into these Trump supporters' lives, and, and I'm the MAGA whisperer. And next thing you know, we get a whole bunch of obedience out of them, right? <laughs> that de that MAGA force, that demonic MAGA force is nothing to play with, though, said he said, but excellent work, and thank you so, so much for the uh, spot on all right ladies and gentlemen we have the beautiful shape ladies and gentlemen are you are you enjoying the echo chamber ladies and gentlemen are you enjoying it? the echo chamber yes love it best one on TikTok. let's go shay how are you absolutely good 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 sorry to miss you yesterday yeah oh. just yeah oh it's uh, totally fine yeah yeah um anyway so Hmm. Where do I begin? There's just so much winning on that side. Um, let's see. Um, so <laughs> Donald Trump, so Donald Trump, Mr. Tough Man with all the facts saying he's innocent, mm. decided that he was not going to take the stand today. Because mm. He has so much facts to spread, right? Really? Yeah. Oh. Because, you know, it's a witch hunt and he knows it and he has all this proof. <laughs> <laughs> and and so he but he just he just said I, I can't spread all this truth today because I know my dumb ass is going to uh spread lies and attack oh. the judge and then oh. it's gonna end up in prison. So oh since I lost all my appeals on my first amendment. <laughs> so I guess I don't want to go to prison because I'm, I'm trying to get in the White House, so I oh. really don't go to prison mm. for all the other things I got going on. Ah. <laughs> you know, I don't want to go to prison before I get in the White House because I'm trying to get in the White House so I don't go to prison. So, mm. you know, there's a lot of that going on right there. Yeah, yeah. And did he order a Diet Coke after he said all of that shit? Because oh, that sounds I, like... You know what? I think he went full on Coke. I, Coke. Oh. <laughs> Coca-Cola! Wow, yeah. I, I, I don't think the diet was going to help him much at all. I think, mm -hmm. he, I think he needed two double cheeseburgers and a full Coca-Cola, so uh, the real thing. But, no, I mean, I sit here and I go, okay, so, you know, when he came out and said, I'm going to be dictator for one day, and, and mm -hmm. I completely agree with Southern Lib, um, there, there's no dictator in history that gives up their power. That's not what dictators do. Bingo. So I've also noticed that uh, his polls are his poll numbers are dropping after he said that. Oh, yeah, he's dropped down to thirty five percent. Oh, thirty five percent support. Sixty one percent of Americans said they would never vote for him again. Mm. So I know that you know they've got these other polls that are that are are are, are you know making your taint really happy right now, Republicans, <laughs> but. Um, it's not going to happen. And and I was listening in, uh, you know, Esquire Eddie in there trying to talk to these MAGA supporters and they're just spewing nonsense. They don't even mm. know what the four indictments are about. There's like, aren't there two civil ones? And Esquire Eddie's like, no, they're all criminal indictments. Wow. Well, just one state. He goes, no, there's two states. And they're just this. I mean, they don't even know. They don't know nothing, but they're convinced that it's a witch hunt. Mm. They're convinced that it's lies. They're convinced that it's all hogwash, right? Yeah. So, but yet they don't actually know what's in the indictments. They don't actually know where they're from. They they can't keep track of the Florida, the Georgia, the New York, the Washington D.C. They can't keep track of any of it because they haven't read any of it. Bingo. Spousing their opinions like they know what's going to happen and what's hmm. going to be really really sad because every lawyer will tell you the documents case, which begins uh, in May, is pretty much solidified going to do him major damage. Oh, the, 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 the it's classified, a, the, yeah, the, the classified the, document. Wait, 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 uh, yeah. doesn't for those, of, you know, there's some Trump supporters in here. Doesn't he have presidential immunity <laughs> and, um, and, 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 and the Clinton socks? Case? Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All that's been disproven. So oh, yeah. that, that's not, that's not going to help him. No, that's not going to help him. 
Well, first of all, he, he claimed presidential immunity for the January 6th. It's hard it's hard to keep track of all of this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Was it the pres wasn't it the Presidential yeah. Records Act then? Which one was it? You're, you're so right. It, it was a January 6th that Chuck can rule that it was not the immunity, the okay. presidential immunity okay. did not exist on January 6th. So okay. He could okay. And peacefully walk down or whatever. Okay. You, okay. But my like, brain no. is coming back. Yeah. I know. It, it's too hard. It's too hard. But, to but didn't he going. say he okay. had the right to take the documents though? Oh, yeah. What? Yeah. Well, they talk about the presidential records. Oh, right? there you go. Okay. Uh, I knew I, okay. I was getting I, I confused. Know. Sorry. It's too much. No, it's too much to keep track of. And so, you know, but if you read the indictments, which you should, mm. he's not being indicted on the presidential records act. So the fact that every time you walk into these MAGA lives and they're talking about the presidential records act and they're reading it and they're reading it, it's like, Tell this them. is why this would help you to read the actual indictment so that mm. you stop looking like, it, you know, um, not so smart. Mm. You know, mm. and, and, and I just listen to them and listen to them and I'm like, God, they are going to really have a rude awakening call next year. Next year. Yeah, they're going to see so much of this stuff. I don't know how they're going to handle it. My my dear friend Puff Puff in here and I, you know, I try I try to tell you, you're standing on the wrong side of history. Mm -hmm. And as a historian, you know, I just watch this stuff and history does cycle, guys. There's always these numb nuts that come in here trying to do this again. And then mm. they get stopped and then they're going to rise up again. They're going to try mm. it again, mm. you know, mm. because because humans. Uh-oh, 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 say, got a call. Oh, no, yeah, no, my, my uh, battery, like, uh -oh. yeah, sorry. No, and so that's what happens because human beings are gullible. I often try to explain to my husband's 80-20 rule, right? So 80% yeah. of humans want to follow, only 20% hey. are leaders. Bingo. And so that's why humans can, that's why the Holocaust can happen, that's why so many of these horrific things can happen. And they can double down on their ignorance because that's where they want to be. They mm. want to be led. That's why they like Trump. They want to be led. They want a strong leader. They're, like like some cattle. They, there's some sheep, oh, actually. There's some absolutely. sheep. Absolutely. They they want someone to fix their problems. They want someone to 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 do this. And so when you have a strong man, which he isn't, but you know what I mean, a yeah. strong man personality that comes out and says, I alone can fix it. That is the number one dictatorial phrase that works for so many followers. Mm. And mm. that's what's going on with MAGA and MAGA are sheep, 100%. And so that's what the problem is. And we've seen it time and time again throughout history. And mm. this is it, this is it. So it's, it, this is, this is, you know, you guys need to hold on to your MAGA, MAGA friends and, and, and family members because they're going to have a hard time next year. Tell them, well, this is Shay. Time. It all comes down. So. All, all right, right, guys, I love y'all. Uh, love right. you as well. Fantastic day. All right, all right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give the beautiful Shay a round of applause. No lies detected. <laughs> yes, you Trump supporters, you, you're acting and behaving like sheep. You can't think for yourselves. Every day we wake up and bring you, I would argue, the best echo chamber on TikTok. All right. It's an overwhelming amount of facts coming around in this live. It's so overwhelming. I got folks unfriending me. You should see this. I did a special broadcast this Sunday. A Trump, ladies and gentlemen, a Trump supporter. You know, when I say friend, I'm just talking about somebody on TikTok that I had the ability to send DMs to. Okay. Not like we were friends in real life. All right. I'm going to, I, this is what they said. I've thought long and hard about you, Zeus. I've prayed to God and hoped that he would change the way you are and help you to see the light. But it's crystal clear, Zeus, you're not willing to see the light. And therefore, I'm going to unfollow you. Goodbye. This is a grown man sending this message to Zeus, right? <laughs> and, and then they proceeded to unfollow me. I, I woke up and I said, this has to be the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it is. If you want to unfollow Zeus, buy, do it. Go. All right. Go. But I'm pretty sure this same individual is in here under their backup account. Okay. Listening to this truth because they know wherever they're going, they ain't going to get the same truth they get when they come to this live, right? <laughs> my heart is so... Uh, yeah, it broke my 
my heart off limits. It broke my heart. I was in pieces. I couldn't do anything. I lost my appetite yesterday. I couldn't eat. Okay, they put all kinds of food in front of me. I saw steak, mashed potatoes, and oh, I mean, I, I couldn't eat it. I, I couldn't eat the pot. I said, this guy, he broke my heart. Yeah, right. All right, let's move on to the next uh, next guest, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my gosh. Sister Nakeisha. Good morning. <laughs> We don't, are any of y'all, any of my friends, are any of y'all losing sleep to Keisha? Are you losing any sleep behind these lives on TikTok when we tell the truth? Man, I'm sleeping like a newborn baby. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't losing no sleep over MAGA. I'm sleeping like a woman that done been rocked by her man all night long. Uh, yeah, said, I'm sleeping, oh. baby. I'm sleeping. <laughs> Listen. I don't want us to get too excited oh my God. about that date that Judge Cannon set for that um for the documents case. Uh -huh. Because there was a clause that she put in that order mm. where she could get to May and change the date again. Oh. oh, oh, but you know what they say, right? They need to get rid. I don't know why Jack Smith just ain't asked for her to go. She got to do something. I believe what she trying to do, Zeus. Mm -hmm. See, when May come and she changed that date, that's going to mess up the Rico cases. Oh. She's still trying to help him. Yeah. That's the problem. And so they need to get rid of her. Mm, they do. But they that Rico, that, that Rico case is waiting for her, you know, like one of these, uh, like a dog, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That Rico case is waiting for her in August. I'm sick of her sitting up there looking like, looking like a modern day Marsha Brady. But anyway, I want to talk about Ron Johnson. Oh, get him. Get him. Let me talk about Ron Johnson. Get him. Who has got a word from the Lord mm. that he is the modern day Moses. Oh. And I'm wondering, Zeus, oh. is he going to part the Red Sea? Is he going to lead the Israelites out of captivity, what is good Ron going to do since he said the Lord needs him? Now, the Almighty, uh. the man, the, the one who is more powerful than anybody, who got mm. all power in his hand, mm. need Ron mm. to help him oh, Lord. get his world in order. <laughs> you got to be a fool who? to read the Bible and thank you in there. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> Moses is a done deal. Uh. Ain't no more making up no Moses. Let it go, Ron. Mm. You're around him. You idolized and Donald Trump, but the Lord told you that you was the mo you was the Moses he needed mm. to get things in order. Mm. Zeus, I'm offended. I am too. I'm sick of people claiming mm. to be Christians. Mm. I'm sick of people lying saying God talked to them when he wouldn't talk to them if they was in the line to get free food and he was giving out the food. <laughs> Let it go. Let it go. They got to stop doing that. It's mm. really beginning to get on my last nerve. The Lord don't know them, and it's apparent they don't know him. Mm. Mm. Now, enough is enough. Now, 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 we know for clarifications, we call, it's really Mike Johnson, but when that MAGA demon gets busy, we call him Ron Johnson, right? Right? Listen, <laughs> I'm going to stick to Mike. I handle Ron. <laughs> but Mike got to go. Hey, you, you know, it's only so long the Lord going to let you lie on him. Mm. He's going to yeah. be going down like the Titanic, just like Donald Trump. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Tell him, Takesha. He gonna it's be going down. Busy. It is. It is. Mm, mm, mm. But this and is I'm who they, this, you know, they, they, this is this is MAGA though. This is these folks. They believe they're that God is speaking to them like that. Zeus. Right? Yeah. Zeus. You. When they was voting for a House Speaker, mm. if he was the Moses that the Lord chose, wouldn't he have gotten that at first time before before uh little little switch dude got in there? Absolutely. If he'd have chosen one, yeah. you know, you would have been chosen. Bingo. I want to go to one of them sessions so bad and read them Republicans <laughs> like an ABC <laughs> one, two, three book. Oh, my Whoever God. Let us go in there to public and say yes, what we got to say. Ooh, 
Oh, Zeus. Mm, what we gonna do? Oh, man, I might be up there now. Oh, Lord. Get them, Takesha. They know. It's ridiculous. But we ain't finna lose no sleep. We no. just gonna keep laughing because the joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. And the more we laugh and smile, the stronger we get. And one more thing. That lady. Uh, mm, which one? That voted against Oh, Kate abortions. Cox. Yes, Kate Cox. And now you want to get on TV with your white tea woman tears. Oh. And you want us to have compassion and empathy on you. Mm. Because you never thought you'd go through that. See, that's the problem with them. They don't think they'll go through the stuff. Mm. Now you're facing it. Now you want empathy from us because mm -hmm. you voted for something you never knew you was going to face. That's why you need to stop voting to be low down mm. and vote because of the empathy of other people. Bingo. And that's all I got to say about it. All that. right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, sister Takesha, you know what that was, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She won't get no miracle on 34th Street. Bye, <laughs> All right, all right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, the beautiful, the beautiful Takesha. That's what I'm talking about. You vote against your best interests and you do it proudly. And then when the universal laws get to working on your, your behind, your special behind, now you on your knees begging for forgiveness. Mm. I tell you something, God don't like ugly. And when it comes to MAGA, it's a lot of ugly going around. You're being exposed. And, I, and it ain't the Democrats that are doing it. It's you voting against your own best interest. What do you think is going to happen when you, if Donald Trump gets to be president again? The same, you, you know when he says stuff like this? When he says stuff like this? Every time the radical left Democrats, Marxists, communists, and fascists indict me, I consider it a great badge of courage. Right. <laughs> And you can hear the folks in the background cheering. These folks are cheering for their own grave. Y'all sick. You Trump supporters, there's something really wrong with your minds. You're sick. It's a strong demonic force. All right. And to that gentleman who wanted to tell me, uh, you know what? Uh, <clears throat> I'm praying for you. You keep that voodoo to yourself. I don't want none of that voodoo you got, champ. I really don't. Good morning, brother. Good morning, brother Swervin. Good morning, my brother. How are you? I'm all right. Just another day in the kingdom. Amen to that. Amen, amen, amen. I can't be mad because I'm whipping up some bacon and eggs. Oh, no. Oh, you got yeah. eggs this morning. You know how much this eggs cost? Oh, dude, <laughs> I, I paid $8.22 for this dozen eggs yesterday. Oh, 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 them some organic eggs right there. Them, them eggs. Oh, these was, these was free range organic eggs. Mm. Like the shell on them was golden. Mm. You mm. know? So, yeah. Wow. They, I, but you know what? I got that kind of cash. So I ain't worried about it. <laughs> Thriving yeah, under Biden. Wow. Right, right. <laughs> Thriving. Yeah driving like a champ mm. but no I, I wanted to touch base with you um because i came across some pretty interesting lives uh -oh. okay uh, -oh. uh late last night and they were conservative lives you know and the conspiracy theories that was flowing out of these people's mouths mm. as to how joe biden is funneling money to hamas was <laughs> just it it was crazy to me Wow. Then the conspiracy theory came up of how Joe Biden is turning pipelines on and off um, to to fix what? gas prices. What? And I'm like, Joe, these pipelines belong to companies, not the oh. country. Like, what is Zeus? They, they, you ever, it, it, it's like I said in a live yesterday. You ever seen? Uh, mm. You ever seen Django Unchained? Oh, remember when Samuel L. Jackson had him hanging upside down? Yeah. And he said, you know, a bunch of folks is in that house right now who ain't never had a good idea in their life. They come in up with all kinds of wild ideas on how to kill your ass. Oh, right. Mm, yeah. That's how these Republicans are. They ain't mm. never had a good idea a day in their life, mm. but they, they coming up with all kinds of crazy ideas that they actually believe. Okay, that's, that's what I find hilarious. It's disturbing. <laughs> it, it, it's beyond disturbing as far as I'm concerned. 
Now, the other thing I want to touch on, and I apologize if you can hear that bacon sizzling. But... Oh, that's bacon sizzling. All right. Yeah. Oh, oh, you know you got these to... Trump supporters triggered when you do that. Swear. I had to, I had to flip it. Oh. Yeah, the bacon was even more expensive. It was like twenty two ninety nine a pound. <laughs> Woo! But, uh, no, the other thing I wanted to touch on, they started talking about uh, this one live I was in. It's probably about. Four o'clock this morning, you know, I just woke up, I went out to my porch, I had a right. cigarette and I started right, scrolling right, right. and I find this live and they sitting there talking about how the, um, oh, damn it, I lost my train of thought. Mm. Did you say the I, FBI? No, well, oh, no. They, they had talked about that. They had, they were talking, it was, it was just odd. Oh, they were talking about all the wonderful evidence they had oh. against election fraud. Oh. And so I sent a guest request. Mm. And dude was like, does anybody know Swerve? And he was like, yeah, don't let him in the box. Mm. Don't even oh. let You might as well just go ahead and block him right now. And oh, I got you're... locked out of that live. Wow. Boo. Big... Oh, big time. Boo. Why, do, why do they boo? You know, when I go in there, I rarely talk now because they're going to do the same thing to Zeus. But it's okay. It's a great badge of courage. Well, I just, I just wanted to ask them, if they have all this great evidence, why isn't any of them going to the FBI with mm. this evidence mm. or a reporter? Yeah. And they can never tell you where to get the evidence, but, you know, excuse me, Jenny. Excuse yeah. me, sweetheart. Yeah. They can never tell you where to get the evidence, mm. but apparently they're the only ones who have it and we can't ever see it. Bingo. You Bunch know, of liars. I just don't get that. If you have this evidence, <clears throat> run on off to the FBI. Let them know, hey, I got this evidence. Y'all might want to take a look at it. Or mm. run off to a journalist, give one them an investigative journalist and let them run wild with it. You know, yeah. see what they come up with. But don't sit here on TikTok talking about you got the greatest evidence in the world against everything in the world and bingo. Nobody else can find it and nobody else can see it, but you're the only one with it. That mm. just sounds asinine. Yeah. So Tell all right, them, brother. Sir. <laughs> that was really all I wanted to say, man. I just find it incredibly odd that they won't share the evidence. They won't even tell they, you where to get it, so you can go and get it yourself. It, it's not. It doesn't exist. You know that, right? You know. Oh, I know. I they, know. They, they know it too, or they're just too lazy to go do the research to find out it doesn't exist. Exactly. They they don't they don't want to read that they're looking at a conspiracy theory or just plain old fake news. Bingo. That's what it is. They just oh man, this is this ain't real. Mm. You're right, it's not. So, and I just wanted to get up in there and ask him, why don't y'all go to the FBI with this evidence? And no. MAGA, why don't you go to the FBI and, 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 and exonerate Donald Trump, please? Oh, because that, that's when they'll say, well, the FBI is corrupt. Oh. The FBI is <laughs> under Joe Biden. That's, that's, they corrupt. Uh. Hey, wait a the FBI director is Donald Trump's handpicked boy. Mm. So how is that corrupt now all of a sudden? It wasn't Bingo. corrupt. It wasn't corrupt when they was going after Hillary Clinton. It took them four years to get anything on Hunter Biden. It must be complete, very embarrassing for whoever was president between 2016 and 2020. Yeah. So, you know, it's, I don't you know, man. They're, they're, they're fools. They're fools. I don't know what else to yeah. say about them, to be honest with you. Well, well, this is why we do what we do each and every single day. We push back against the lies and misinformation. That oh, we're circling. Yeah. Amen. So, all right, brother, I'm gonna let you get back to managing the affairs of the kingdom. All right. All y'all right. Y'all be good all the way, all the way, all down there in the chat. Y'all be good. Y'all be safe. Have all fun right. doing it. And uh, old Swerve is out. I will see you later on. Be good, all right. everybody. All right. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give Brother Swerve a round of applause. And JL Modica. I think I said that right. Thank you for the subscription. Wow, five months. I it is an honor to have you. And welcome aboard. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, my good friend, Mr. Wick. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. All right. How are we doing? I'm well. Just you know, it's hard to come behind uh Keisha and swerving, but <laughs> you doing that's okay. Check this out. Three things I want to uh, talk about. No, uh -huh. I just got the reading about you know Jake Texera, Texera or whatever. Yeah. The, the the guy with the classified documents, the little twenty something year old heir. Yes. So, yes. Fifteen people who weren't even a part of it, but part of his chain of command, are now getting kicked out the uh, Air Force because of his. Wow. Yeah. 
good news from a panel on down. So wow. you tell, so you tell me this. If classified documents aren't that important, then why are we kicking our finest, our best and our finest out who mm. have nothing to do with something? Mm. So shouldn't that mean that somebody, I don't know, who had orange skin, who has mm. jaws instead of jaws, wow. who has a head the size of a freaking basketball, shouldn't he be in that type of situation? Absolutely. This I'm, is two tier justice system, right? It, I'm just saying, I I got the information. I just posted it. Wow! You know, I, I'm that's what I'm saying. Fifteen people. So that means fifteen people were involved in this crime to is some degree, what, but they weren't a part of it. That's the mm. whole point. It's just chain of command. Mm. It's just the chain of command. That's that's what it's about. Mm. So just the fact. So the people that are part of that. Dude that starts with a T and ends with a P. Mm. I'm just saying, you know, and I know the the the, the largest um uh, uh swerve was in. The yeah. Funny thing is, I've never in my life. It was eight people in there. Check this out. Right. I've never. It's eight people. I couldn't believe I was texting faster than they could even talk. Now, how is that possible? Oh, oh, that means they're 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 slow. They're, when you're texting faster, then they can even talk. Oh, oh, that means the, the, there's some misfiring going on up there. The cylinders and stuff. You know, when I talk about the engines. Exactly. You know how hard it is to text one sentence in yours with all these bright <laughs> and brilliant people. No, I'm serious. It's really hard to get one sentence because by that time you have so much information and all these great people that you have. Is right on here i i have to really already change my sentence mm. and you know my thought process so i can put something else up, up front it's That's hard to keep up i agree <laughs> and, and, and last but not least now this these clowns are sitting there saying this is the same lie they were sitting there saying well uh hunter biden oh he hunter biden uh he he, he didn't want to this should be uh public and then hunter i remember last week hunter biden said Hey, let's make this public. I remember the Republicans sitting there saying, uh, uh, we, we, we want this closed doors. And yeah. I kept telling them, Hunter Biden said, bring it. I want the smoke. That's right. what I remember Hunter, Hunter Biden said. Yeah. But Zeus, you tell me, did I did I read that incorrectly? No, I'm you didn't. Asking. No, no, no. You, you read it 100% correctly. I'm don't just let, saying. Don't let these Trump supporters try to get over on you with their lies. You know, they're going to try to tell you they're smarter than you. Uh-uh, absolutely not. Oh, no, but that's that's the slow. I mean, literally, it was, it was I should say six, it was eight people. I couldn't believe how fast I was typing, wow. texting them. I'm, mm. I, 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 there's no lies. Mm. Text, I promise you. Mm. I was just like, y'all got to. They wouldn't let me come up. I really didn't care. Because I was like, man, this is romper room style. You know, I'm like, come on. Mm. This is not even worth. If you can't even keep up with my texting, then I shouldn't even come in, my, in your room. Nope, so with, nope. that, with that being said, I appreciate it. This is a wonderful morning. Yeah. Uh, start, your, start the Zeus powers out. I need to hear a lightning strike. I would love to see some lightning strikes to Zeus, y'all. Yeah. Uh, for Zeus. No, you have thank a great you, brother. Day. Thank All you for right. bringing me up. I'm out any any time, my good friend, Mr. Brother Wick. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give Mr. Wick a round of applause. Uh, no lies, no lies detected. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Go Dogs. Uh, he's one of the Trump supporters who's also a fan of Zeus. It's so weird. It's so weird, ladies and gentlemen. I tell you that I have fans that are MAGA. It's the weirdest thing ever. But Go Dogs, when it comes to politics, champ. You really ought to you ought to give it up because you're absolutely wrong. You you you've consumed too much of the snuggle juice, right? You've you you've just consumed a little too much snuggle juice, and and your mind is very very polluted. And the mega demon is strong, especially when it comes to politics. Do me a favor and and, and let's set up a one on one session. All right, go dogs. All right, you know I charge for that. All right, but. We can work something out whether you get that MAGA demon under control. Hey, thank you, Brother Rick. <laughs> Cindy, too. OG, straight facts. I see you. Help me keep uh, our good friend Cindy in line because I see what she's writing. And, 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 and you, you like that idea, Ange? Right? MAGA consultation services? Yes. 
It's 250 bucks an hour over here with Zeus, all right, go dogs. And don't say you don't got the money because I know you've been sending uh, Donald Trump all the money you have. See Will, how do I uh, subscribe? Uh, I'm pretty sure the mods can help you, but from what I remember, if I remember correctly, in the chat part, you should be able to see an option to subscribe. I don't know exactly the details. I would have to look at the screen. But yes, if you want to subscribe, please do that. And don't break the bank doing it, all right? I understand what's more important is telling the truth and making sure the American people are informed about what's going on, all right? All right, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> let's bring up our good friend April. I see you attacking. Don't worry, I got you, champ. And Yazzie, I do see you. Good morning, April, a beautiful April. Good morning, Zeus. How are you doing today? Uh, I I'm all right. I'm all right. <laughs> Just another day in the kingdom tending to the affairs as usual. As usual. Yes, I was in that live with you talking to the January 6th. You know how it's Pelosi's fault. And, right. And the feds and BLM and Antifa. It's so old. It's getting so old. We've seen it. We saw it with our own eyes. Right. Why, we saw why? it with our own eyes. But that's not the reason I wanted to come up. I wanted to come up to talk to the the Trump supporters mm. that are barely getting by and that are complaining about the gas and the egg prices and how much they're paying <laughs> for a bag of groceries and uh. all this. So what is Trump going to do? Mm. That's the question. What is Trump going to do to lower your grocery prices? Mm. What is he going to do to lower your rent? Mm. Not a darn thing. He's not going to do anything. No. Because it's not up to the president. It's the corporations. Mm. When people wakes up and realize the president, I mean, I stubbed my toe. Oh, hell, Biden done it. You know, it's stupid. <laughs> it's so crazy. They throw everything at the president's feet. They do. And they and, think we're going to fall for it. And that Cindy down here in the comments. Uh -oh. um, Talking about a hunter's white privilege. Well, what the heck does Trump have? Orange privilege? Get it, get her, April. Talk What's he got? Orange privilege? Mm. The man with all these federal charges against him, and he's running around playing golf, going to, having his rallies and doing whatever he wants. Fly private jet. He's flying in private jets, eating real meat, right? Yeah. Do you think he cares about how much they're paying for groceries? Mm -mm. No, he just wants to make sure that he lies to them enough to get that vote. That's mm. all he's doing. Mm, 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 so mm, it's, mm. it's it's getting, it's just, oh, it's tiresome. But no, I'm, I'm going to start doing lives again, Zeus. Good, because, good. Uh, I, I heard mean, you. Are you saying you're going to go after I go? Is that how this is going to yeah, work? Well, it'll be around 12, 1 o'clock. But um, yeah, I, I got to fight this fight. I mean, these people, it's just ridiculous. Mm. Tell them, April. It's, it's getting it's getting crazy out here. When reality has left, mm. when when do we stop believing what someone says? You know, I keep trying to get someone to buy that unicorn I got in my backyard that poops out gold. You know, right, Since right, they right. Don't believe anything anybody sit, tells them. <laughs> you know, but yeah, it, it's it's not working. But. Um, We'll keep trying it. <laughs> well, 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 listen, you're still doing a good job, April, and, and I'm pretty sure you'll get that unicorn. I mean, you just got to use the same powers that the Trump supporters use, you know, when they believe Donald Trump is going to save them. Okay? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> oh, my it's, God. It's just com common sense has left people. And then the horrible news that Elon Musk oh. is has allowed Alex Jones back on this oh. is it's despicable mm. this mm -mm. is this is what our world's come to this man said he, sandy hook that that was fake that it was wow. a stage wow wow and he's wow. had to dish out how much now what 500 million dollars to families and stuff wow for all his lies wow and, and yeah they just let him back on there Anything, anything to get some views. I get it, Elon, but you're still going to hell. He's still going it's, to hell. It's crazy, Isn't he? Zeus. But you have a great day, and I'll talk to everybody later. All right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give the beautiful April a round of applause.
And C Will, C Will, shout out to C Will. I saw you subscribe, champ. Thank you so much for the subscription. All right, I really do appreciate it. All right, let's move it along, ladies and gentlemen. We got our good friend, brother attacking. All right, all right, we're almost rounding the corner, ladies and gentlemen. Good show, good show. Uh, good morning, brother attacking. Well, good morning, good morning. Oh my God, how are you doing, my good friend? I'm doing fantastic, like always. Um, I missed your or, or the beginning of this because I was sleeping because I woke up at about two o'clock and I put a couple. <clears throat> yeah, but I put up a couple videos. I put up, I put up a couple videos. Take that down. <laughs> you were sleeping, and yeah, you. But I I woke up and I made a couple videos. What what were the videos about? Uh, well, one of them was Donald Trump bragging about the uh, he got rid of Roe versus Wade, and I mm. put the young lady's picture up mm. that is having the issues in Texas. Right. So Donald Trump is being proud that he's causing this woman medical issues that could stop her from having children in the future. Right. All right, we were just what, talking bravo, about that. Exactly, exactly. So, bravo to Trump for doing that because that's going to help women not vote for him in 2024. Bingo. And also, and also Ken Paxton. Mm. Um, you know, plus, I again, I missed it this morning. I apologize. Did you talk about Rudy Giuliani? Uh, briefly, I just said that he has to go to court today. All right. He's got his of, court today yeah. because of the defamation and lies about Ruby <laughs> Freeman and her daughter. You hear and that, they're, Snuggles? They're asking for $46 million mm. in, in defamation and damage. 40, wait, wait, wait. 46, <laughs> 46 million? Yep, $46 million. Mm. Yeah, now, like what Swerven's saying, you ask people about proof. You know if you ask Snuggles for proof about anything, do you know what he says? What's that? Donald Trump's not in jail. Mm. He mm. doesn't ever have proof. He doesn't ever show you proof. Mm. Uh, you ask him about, well, is there proof about uh, Joe Biden and Hunter Biden committing crimes? Well, Donald Trump's not in prison. Oh. He's not convicted. Oh. See, he pivots. He, he pivots like all Trump lovers and, re and Republicans. That's the I, thing. I, I have some evidence on Snuggles, all right, from his previous lives. And I'm in negotiations with Snuggles at the moment on just oh. how to manage this evidence because he's been lying for so long. Right. And he just can't keep track of him. All right. Really? So I'm 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 really on the fence about uh releasing this well, overwhelming if, evidence. If you were, gonna... if, well, you know what I would do if I had it. <laughs> <laughs> I would release it. I also when he was in here, I sent him a message. I said, Do you need some more KY jelly? Mm. Oh, attacking. That's now that's nasty. That's the naughty. I was polite. Oh, well, you did ask. <laughs> I did. Yeah, I'll send him some more KY jelly. I mean, no. plus I'll send him some hand cream. See as how his hands are wrapped around his ankles. They might be chafing right now. There is a big... He has Thank to you. grab them so hard. You know, he has to grab them because as Trump's behind him, you know, it's just going. Hey, Ladies and gentlemen, the tacky right snuggles have a strange relationship, and you know, yes, I don't know yes. what it. I don't know what triggered it, but they go yeah. listen. I'm I'm true. I, I'm truth and honesty. Snuggles is disgusting and Trump. Mm. That, mm. That's that's the thing. So I'm gonna let you go. Everybody have a beautiful day. We'll see you later. I'll post some more videos. And uh, by the way, uh, Trump's not gonna take 2024. He is gonna see the inside of a jail, whether it be for 30, 60, or 90 days. He Bingo. will see the inside of a jail. Bingo. No lies detected. Thank you, attacking. No lies detected. Yes. Clickety clinks, clickety clink. Yes, exactly that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get going. Oh my gosh, we got a few more, then we are out of here. Good morning, this beautiful Jazzy. Oh my gosh, looking so good on a Monday morning. How are you? Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, <clears throat> are you at a party? Is this a party you're at, or is this no. a filter? No, this is me. This oh. Is me. Oh, okay. What's what's the border at the top? What's that about? Oh, that's my that's my curtain to my oh, um, to oh, my okay. door outside. Oh, okay. I was about there's, to say I need. There's I need my kitchen. That. Nice my kitchen. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Well, listen. Okay, I got it. I got it. I thought that was yeah. a new filter on TikTok. No, I think it's just try how the angle is and yeah. the way. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, no, no. It's just my um.
what do we call it? Those uh, whatever for your screen door. Yeah. <clears throat> I just want to say, if you guys want to go look at my video about the wind towers or windmills, and I think the whales are really getting Open affected day. by them. The whales. Yeah, the, you remember when Trump was saying that I the, remember. Wind, the windmills, wind towers were, were causing the whales to have problems. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Y'all could see how many whales could be out in those pastures, right? I mean, yeah. there, there's a lot of pasture out there, okay? So, and I just want to say, I mean, we are, we are in Colorado, we have a lot of renewable energy. But, you know, those wind towers only produce 10% right now of what the total population oh in the United States needs, only 10%. And you see how ginormous they are and you see how much land space they take. That land, yeah. <clears throat> some people can put, we, ours, our, none of our properties have those because we have pasture grounds where we have pivot sprinklers that go around and a tower could never be put there. But that land, that can be used for anything else, but mm. those wind towers. Wow. That's why saying, we didn't see no, that's why the cattle were around the wind towers. Yeah. They're not, we, they're we not allowed. By, no, oh. you know, um, I think some people could, but the thing is, if you don't get enough water up there and it's really rocky terrain, not a lot of grass can grow. So your cows wouldn't be eating there very long. So you would just mm. take them for a very short time. Then you have to get your cattle trucks out and move them again. And oh, Lord. That's a lot of work. That, that, that sounds like a lot of work to do. It's a lot of work. I don't, I don't enjoy moving cattle because, you know, they are, they don't like it either. But yeah. I just want to say about that lady in her white teeth privilege. And <clears throat> the thing is, abortion is part of medical care. Like I said, it's a D and E, D and C. Mm. These are part of medical care. When a, when a pregnancy is not viable, the baby is not viable, people. And, it, and your body does not expel that tissue. Mm. We have to go in as medical professionals and dig the stuff out, okay? Right. If you don't dig the stuff out, it turns rotten in you and it goes into, it can go into sepsis and it can ruin your uterus, you ruin mm. your fallopian tubes, and mm. almost you, it could cause to unalive you, okay? Right. So that people did not, do not think that, uh, just because you think only abortion is terminating like a pregnancy, no, no, no. It's actually type of healthcare, okay? You guys are shooting yourself in the foot, okay? Stop Tell them, it. Yazzie. Tell them. Auto autonomy is not, it's not your right to tell women what to do. And in Colorado, everything is legal, so we are good. If y'all want to go to Colorado, it's a great state. But we're having a lot of people who are carrying those. They're coming here after the fact where hmm. I'm going to tell you most of our hospitals will not remove a baby if you're eight to nine months unfortunately you will probably you will have to either birth it or have a cesarean okay we just there's when people are like oh my gosh even after the child's born which would be unning aliving a child right. you could go to prison for that right we don't do that in Colorado. tell them okay? yazzy so yeah. i just go ahead. there's a lot of misinformation about that Oh right, my God! Going on. The thing is, I was just like, I have a good example. My oldest sister, her middle, her middle child, she was three months. She went, she, they were getting ready, super excited, went to go see the doctor. There was no heartbeat, mm. and then, then her gynecologist is like, oh, and she had a fancy one in the Denver area. She drove out of town. She's like, I wow. got the best. It never came out of her. He's like, oh, come out, your body will miscarry it. It'll be fine. It didn't. It got to the point where she almost got sepsis. She had to go in, have a D and E, where wow. they actually extract what was in there. And mm. she it saved her life. Mm. But I guess you can't have that kind of health care to save your mm. life. But mm. you white tea people or women who vote against our health care, women's health care, you're shooting yourself in the foot. And now now you're suffering That's the consequences too, bingo. like the rest of but right. I just I just want to say thank you for letting me come up. But yeah, that I just I was taking a video because um, there's miles of it. We probably have like all the way from the mountains all the mm. way to Nebraska and Wyoming, wow. uh, Wyoming up to Wyoming and up to um, Kansas where there's right. all these windmills. There's no whales out here, Trump. Yes, you really got it. Oh. Hey, not one whale. It doesn't affect any <laughs> whale. Wow. But I'm just saying, we can't actually use windmills as, as a source of that. It's going to sustain all of us. Yeah. You know what we use out here in rural? If people have a Tesla and they have to plug in, they have diesel generators behind these. Really? These, behind these. And that's how an electric car that's plugs wild. in out here. There's that's no crazy. Like, 
we don't a, have that seems infra- backwards that seems counterintuitive yeah. we don't but it's because we don't have an electrical grid that can support that much electricity got it got yeah, it yeah there there's not enough electricity and i i know you guys are probably all against nuclear energy but you have to think that one nuclear plant can produce more energy than all the windmills than all the coal plants in the united states okay mm. one I mean, if we made it a safe, but I'm just saying, I'm not here to push any of that, but I just want to say hello. I just want to say there's no, we are not hurting whales out here. Yes. Not even cattle. Cattle stay away from them. They're like, eh, we don't need mm. that extra sound, you know. And I, I, I wanted to show, it doesn't really kill birds either unless, I mean, the birds sometimes run into my vehicles and I have to just. Right. That's we're not <laughs> birds running into the vehicle. Now that's okay. something else. Okay. Okay. So like. Pheasants? Have you heard of a pheasant? Have you heard of a yes, pheasant? Yes, I've okay. heard of pheasants. So, so like sometimes you're driving and they're like trying to mate with their the other, and suddenly they'll just fly up. Mm. I've had a couple take out my mirrors. One took like the whole grill of my black pickup. That's why I got a blue one now. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god, it went like. <sighs> but yeah, they just they just fly up whenever they want, and they just well, kind of get in there. Well, and... th- well, be kind to those ph- those pheasants, all right? I well, mean, you can't uh... break, and you can't stop, and you can't you can't hurt. You have to just go full throttle. I mean, you can slow down, but otherwise, yes. you could throw yourself in the ditch. If you were to move your steering wheel, you could hurt yourself. Kind of oh like God. deer, yeah. Just, so you just I'm... so you just got to run through them, is what you're saying. Gotta, mm-hmm. Nasty. Otherwise, I Nasty. know because well, our, our like. Our bar pits, we have bar pits because everyone has cattle out here. So you have bar pits that go down. So if mm. you were to get on the edge, you could just throw your whole vehicle and, sp- and you know, oh my God. Oh hurt my yourself. God. So you, you don't do that in rural Colorado. So mm. you just kind of run through it and like pray for the, that it doesn't take out too much damage. You slow down enough that, yeah, I lost oh my a god good mirror. oh my god, well, it's terrible. Well, but I just want to say hi. All right. The most handsome, the most humble. The most hardworking, mm. the most honest host mm. ever. That's four. That's four. And, wow. And, and you know what? And my favorite, the most handsome. You hear that, Nutty? <laughs> no Sydney Powell it. pleads guilty. Sydney, didn't she already plead guilty in the Georgia <laughs> trial? Okay. Yeah, I think so. Well, you know what? Thank you so much for your time. I hope you guys are all doing well. Love y'all. Yes, yes, yes. Down. All right. Take care, Love everybody. You too, guys. Mom, Take mom, care. Love you guys. Uh, Bye. All right, all right, all right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's Thank give the, be- the beautiful Yazzie Jazzy a round. <laughs> a round of applause. Oh my God, I always have to blush when Yazzie gets in the box. All right, it's uh, you know such a beautiful, beautiful woman. All right, and I really do mean that. All right, let's move on. We only could do a couple of more, and then uh, Zeus is up, up and away. All right. Uh, good morning, uh, Miss Morning Star. Good morning. How are you doing? Cut it out, good Nutty. Morning. Good morning. Put, put Nutty in a straight jacket for one minute. <laughs> hey, Zeus. Good morning. All right. How are you? I'm doing well. Doing are well making, in the kingdom. Are, are, are you making some bacon, too? No, actually, oh. I got to turn the dripping faucet off. I oh, was okay. thawing out some thawing out some chicken. <laughs> oh, oh, what you got to do to that chicken? You frying it? We gonna bake? No, nah, we gonna bake it today. That's what Man. we gonna do. We gonna mm. bake that today. Mm. So I was mm. just getting it ready while I'm working from home today. So okay, okay, I love, um, I love it. I, so thanks and shout out to the beautiful Yazzie. She's such a she's got such a beautiful heart, doesn't she? Yeah, she we just really love does. Yazzie. She is an awesome, Watch awesome Darcy individual. Yes, yes, we need more people in the world like that. Amen. Just this weekend was uh, was just a meltdown of MAGA. It was they, a meltdown. They're losing it, right? They are <laughs> Zeus, and it's it's like you go in every live and you hear these these MAGA trying to come up with ways to uh make an excuse for january 6th in particular mm. that was kind of like a hot topic this weekend yeah because of the the um the documentary uh yeah. a day of rage yeah right? yeah 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 and yeah. the way that they want to spin the narrative mm. of what we already know right it's it's amazing 
I had one. I was in the beautiful Angie's live yesterday. You know, yeah. the, the beautiful Angie. The beautiful Angie. Beautiful Angie. She's hosting the most, one of the, one of the most fabulous lives. She's trying to keep it in order, keep it yeah. clean like yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, she's, yeah, doing yeah. A, she's doing a good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's doing excellent. And so we had a deranged uh, MAGA. Mm. supporter in there he was pretty deranged yeah. so um we were giving him facts we mm -hmm. spit a whole lot of facts to him and um after we gave him so much facts his <laughs> response to us was you guys are just too serious oh that part it yeah. always is they, they always got a new way to spin thing now it's too <laughs> serious <laughs> you think Zeus, I I said, sir, what are you here for? We are serious. How many of my my, my people, our kingdom, how many of us are serious when we come on here every day and, exactly and spit these facts and speak the truth? How many of us are serious? Do you think we have time within our day and our life to get on here to educate you maggots about, no. about this? No, 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 absolutely yeah. not. Not for free. Yeah. Not for free. I'm with you, Zeus. Let's start charging because this is yeah. too much. Two hundred and fifty dollars an hour. You know it, and you I got like it. it. Don't say you don't. Any any of they us, got it. I know there's some of us out here. Wouldn't you all like to get two hundred fifty dollars an hour from these Trump Amen. supporters? They yes, got sir. the money. They can't say they don't because they do all these little grifting situations on TikTok. I know they got the money. They out here with the Trumpy flags. They out here with Trumpy bears. They got the money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, other than that, yeah. they got to sit their special behind down and listen to the special broadcast. And, yeah, and that's the tough part. That's the tough part. They can't sit their special behinds down and listen. But I hear my bell, Zeus. That's what I wanted to come up and speak about. All and right. thank you for allowing me in the kingdom. All right, all right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to Miss Morningstar. Go live protected. Everybody have a great day. All right, all right. Now listen, ladies and gentlemen, I do got to wrap up this show and get on to the affairs of the kingdom, all right? But it's been a pleasure being your host this bright and early uh all right and you know because we're about to land right all right so buckle up your seat belts we're about to land and you are all free to exit this live all right but before i do uh you know what we got to do first of all give yourselves a, a round of applause <laughs> you survive. also also uh, I want to give a special thank you to the, the moderators for helping to keep this live clean and safe, all right? And as well as my, my gifters and my subscribers. <laughs> You're all amazing, all right? And even my for my critics and detractors, the ones that are still possessed with the MAGA demon, I'll give you some uh, what you want, all right? Oh! Give them one last round. Now, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I will be back tomorrow, same Zeus time, same Zeus channel. I do apologize in advance if I haven't wasn't able to get to you, but I do got to run because Zeus has other things to get to do. All right. I'll be back tomorrow and we can uh, check in about what we're talking about. All right. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, take care, stay safe and enjoy. Uh, the kingdom and uh, enjoy the rest of your day, all right? Two fathers, most handsome in the kingdom. <laughs> Kevin, I see that. Have a great rest of your morning. This is how I move when I'm walking like Zeus. This is how I sound when I'm talking like Zeus. This is how I stare when I'm looking like Zeus. I like to act a fool when I'm moving like Zeus. Let's go. Thank you, man. The sky like you up like Zeus. I make my own rules. I'm a god, call me Zeus. I'm fired in the eagle and I got bread on me too. Took a long time to get here and I'm feeling brand new. You're hey. like a bum. Get away from me, fool. I got money in my mind. I can't leave it up to you. I can't hang around. Where the Russian fair? Too quick. I think I think they're scared of Zeus now. Bounty on your head. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Time to let loose with the truth. I tried to be patient. Reggie, I see. Yes, it was an insurrection. Like a mongoose. 
these ladies love me, yes, yeah, I'm the one that they you. choose, you know I'm so handsome, that's, that's why, why they call me Zeus, this is how I they move when Zeus. I'm walking like Zeus, this is how I sound when I'm talking like Zeus, this is how I stare when I'm looking like Zeus, I like to act yeah. a fool when I'm looking like Zeus, thank you like Anita Zeus. for those Zeus, Zeus hands, like what Zeus. a show, you're thinking that you're cool till I'm we can still Zeus. smell the stench of you, Donald like Trump, like trying Zeus. to ruin our country. Oh, 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 Won't work. I'm a god, call me Zeus. I'm hotter than Hades and I'm burning down the roof. You say you want it fast, well, I'm living proof. We protect our men under any circumstances. Right back at you, straight back. Let's do it. I didn't make a game of rules, so don't play me like All right, see you all, Marisol Hill. Don't be in the pool, even though I'm hot. Cut it out, El Sapo. I'm just sitting on my throne while you looking Check like it. a goof. Woo. Time to let loose with the truth. Mount Negro. Yeah, yeah good. Mama, let me play with your caboose. I know the ladies love me because I'm sweet like a tooth. Play yeah, hey, hating on the guys, boy, you're such a douche. I Try see you, Kasali. Good morning. Catching all these snakes like a mongoose. All right, Sandy, Sandy, stay safe yeah, I'm out the there. One that they choose. You know I'm, I'm so handsome. handsome. That's, That's why they call me Zeus. This is how I move when I'm walking like Zeus. This is how I sound when I'm talking like Let's Zeus. Go. This is how I stare when I'm looking like Zeus. I like to act a fool when I'm moving like Zeus. Those, those poll numbers, El Sapo. Where'd you get those poll numbers from? They're wrong. In the sky like you look like Queen, Zeus. please, I'm you're the best. All right, Randy. I just yeah. want to buy uh, yeah, wow. I see you, Shay. Yazzie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful, Yazzie. Yeah, Lock them up. Nina, thank you. Now I'm on the beach. El Sapo, same Greece thing, make you laugh. The truth, It'll make you cry, El Sapo. You didn't know that? <laughs> oh, my God. Let's go, Randy. Thank you, Emily. You like that El Sapo? He's a big Trump hater. Openly, he's a Trump hater. And his wife is even more of a Trump hater. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You like that uh, El Sapo? Donald Trump is indicted and they take him. One charge and they turn it into 36 charges. Derange Jack Smith. Jack. You like Smith. that, El Sapo? He's a Trump hater. So his wife's a Trump hater. <laughs> his family's a Trump hater. They all are Trump hater. They have a passion to do anything they can to hurt Trump. And he's a harasser and an abuser. So you're right. And he's a big Trump hater. Openly, he's a Trump hater. And his wife is even more of a Trump hater. Let's go get him, Jack! Enjoy your breakfast! <laughs>